Far too many business owners and entrepreneurs focus on building a business and not a brand. On this Branding Bites podcast, I dish out bite-sized strategies to keep your personal brand front and center to make a more significant impact and see bigger results in your business. Hey there, it's Kristen Korn, and you're listening to the Branding Bites podcast, episode number 23. Why it may be time to Marie Kondo your content marketing strategy. You've heard her voice loud and clear, out with the clutter. If it doesn't spark joy, then we don't need it. And in today's episode, I'm not just talking about your underwear drawer or food pantry. The same goes for your content marketing strategy in your business. Used to, experts would say, show up every day, be seen, get in front of your customers, just post something. That was so 2018 and early 2019. Yes, consistency and staying top of mind with your audience will always be key, but it is not about quantity over quality. I believe it's the exact opposite, quality over quantity when it comes to social media feed posts. And when I say quality posts, I mean more authentic storytelling and better message targeting. These days, even at a beginner business level, you can easily set up a website, publish a blog, start a podcast, create videos, and post to social media, and you can do it really, really well. But now the focus comes to not the quantity of how much you're doing, but the message inside the content you are publishing. Having things automated in your business is smart. I have an entire lesson inside my content marketing strategy and planning system where I walk you through my personal Instagram automation secrets, as well as my focused media mix approach so I can expand my digital reach by breaking up a large piece of content into dozens of bite-sized pieces. It's a fantastic strategy for staying top of mind, especially on Twitter, Facebook business pages, and Instagram stories with less effort. But when you rely too much on automation, just to get something linked from your sites to your consumer, you tend to lose the attraction piece, right? And to me, the attraction piece is the most important because it's what sets your brand apart from the thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands of others who may be in the same industry as you. When you can focus on building a brand focused business, you succeed at this attraction but you can't build a brand focused business by having so much random content going out on your account that people don't even understand what you stand for or who you are, or if they are even a niche audience of yours. So when you feel your content marketing strategy is cluttered and all over the place, it's time to clear that clutter, clutter, pull in the reins and do a spring cleaning to your strategy. If you don't know what you stand for, how is your client supposed to be attracted to your brand? Well, the problem is, is they won't. They might like a few posts, maybe follow you for a bit, but when they see that you're like all over the place with your content, they're going to leave. But do you blame them? I mean, they haven't connect, you haven't connected with them on a personal level that makes them even want to stay. So how can you do that? You can do that by turning your brand influence into content that creates a deeper connection with your audience. And how do you find your brand influence? You use my approach to brand discovery to help you discover the fortune that lies hidden in your personal brand. What I do through this discovery is to ask you a few questions that just help dig into what makes you you. So for example, If you had a full day to yourself to spend doing something you love, what would you do? Another question I ask is, when was the last time you were complimented on something as a skill or talent? So what I'm doing is uncovering the behaviors and actions, preferences, passions, skills you already possess that we can then unlock and then determine your brand influence. And that is what sets you apart from all the other clutter found online. I love to help clients take who they already are and use those layers and layers of pivots, life cycles, and experiences to build a strong brand foundation that's number one, scalable, and number two, can be any algorithm. So if you feel as if your content marketing strategy is cluttered with no joy to be found, try digging into who you are and how you can take that and turn it into content that builds stronger connections with your audience. 
I am here to empower you to use your own voice and experiences and stories to connect with your target audience. That's step one of my Stay In Your Lane brand method and my content connection playbook course that I offer. It's what it's all about, brand discovery. It's high value content that people give a dang about. And right now you can go to kristencorn.com forward slash mini course to get your hands on my entire content connection playbook course. It's gonna dig into this brand discovery and you can get it for only $27, which is a crazy low price. But only do that if you wanna build a profitable brand you are proud of and wanna feel joyful about every day. All right, purpose-driven CEOs, until next time, keep putting purpose behind your brand and thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Branding Bites podcast. I'd love to hear from you. So hop on over to Instagram at Stay in your lane brand and drop a comment. And if you're feeling extra gracious, please leave a review wherever you caught this podcast. You can dive into the show notes for this episode and all episodes at brandingbitespodcast.com. And if you love this podcast, please share it with a friend. Thanks for tuning in.